Hey guys, I'm Janet, on occasion, and today we're playing the Total War Warhammer 2 Battle Replay. So yeah, back from the Everchosen, started recording again. Um, I'm still exhausted, that was a tiring weekend. But uh, yeah, if you haven't checked it out already, um, yeah, do. It was a great tournament. And if you did, uh, thanks for watching. I hope it was uh, hope it was fun. So uh, here I'm playing Wood Elves. I haven't played Wood Elves in ages, honestly. It's been a heck of a long time since I've played a lot of Wood Elves. So I've been playing a bit. Been playing a bit since I got back. Um, I got a taste of them again. It's been a long time. So here you can see Dryads in the front line against the Empire. So these guys will get through state troops nice and quickly. They got the magic attacks, and uh, well, I'm going to bestow magic weakness to nearby things with the Branch Wraith, which is a uh, nice synergy. Also, just general melee attack buff um, for the Branch Wraith, which is nice. Good spell selection. Awakening of the Wood will do a lot of damage to ranged things in the back, which I really like. Uh, if you can blob, you know, blob things up a bit and get some good value. But also, I've got the healing. I've got Melkars to hit the cavalry with, and also I've got. Penundral Pendulum in case they line up with a lot of expensive stuff. You know, if they've got a big line of great swords, it'd be great just to, you know, just kill them all, frankly. So that'd be nice. Also, Orion. I think Orion is just great against the Empire. He's so good. He's super resilient. His ranged attacks can kill a bunch of cavalry with uh, each throw. And in melee, with that anti-large bonus, he can really do well against any of the Empire lords and heroes and cavalry that get thrown at him. Which is pretty great, because, uh, frankly... The only way to kill Orion is really with, like, massive DPS all at once, so um, him being able to fight back well is definitely useful. Because, yeah, Cloak of Isha just keeps him alive when he's on low health. You need to do, you know, hundreds of damage per hit to get him, you know, just basically kill him before he hits his healing cap, because it can take forever. So, uh, yeah, so it's good that he can fight back. I like it. Also, free spells are always good. Also, I've got Hagbane tips in the back. Uh, poisoning stuff, again, always good. Always good. Nice long range. They can kill uh, hand gunners and things in the back. Also got some eternal guard with shields. These guys will match up okay. You know, they're fine, but they do have the armor piercing with the anti-large. So kind of nice for dealing with things like Empire Knights and Reich's Guard. Very useful. Also have one unit of war dancers, um, just in case there's a ton of flak that I can just chop through. These guys kill very quickly. So having something on one flank that can just sort of run around and murder things as it goes, I like that. Also over here you can see I have two wild riders with shields and I have the Sister of Thorn. So, uh, very nice. I like these guys. They're very, very, very powerful on the charge. They can deal with Empire Knights and Rights Guard pretty damn well. And with the extra spells that the Sisters of Thorn have, I can get a lot of value out of this as a goon squad. And uh, they're just so quick. So, that back line, if I get into it, I'm going to eat it all. It's going to be amazing. So, my opponent here, he's come very wide, which I actually really like um, against Wood Elves. I think it's a pretty good army. So, here he's got a lot of free company militia. These guys will do a ton of damage to things like Wild Riders or, well, anything unarmored, frankly, or unshielded. So, Eternal Guard will obviously resist a lot of the damage, but they're very good at killing a lot of different things. Um, even if there's like a dragon in the air, they can get some good Overwatch fire. So, he's got a lot of Empire Knights as well. These guys, not bad on the charge, but I'll have to support them if he's going to beat any cavalry that I have. They're definitely outclassed. But Empire Knights are brilliant at charging into things like War Dancers or Dryads. They can do a lot of work. So, pretty useful to have some of them. Also, just great for plugging up the gaps. He also has a load of Crossbowmen. Crossbowmen will do very nicely against Dryads and War Dancers. Anything like that. Lovely. And, uh, frankly, they can do a lot to Wild Riders too. Load of Flagellants. So, a uh, load of unbreakable stuff here. He's got Sigmar Sons, three units of Flagellants. And what isn't unbreakable is Elite. He has great swords here as well. These guys will chop through infantry very well. He also has Karl Franz. Karl Franz hits like an absolute truck. And uh, he didn't bring he didn't bring any of his abilities, though, which I think is a mistake. You really want Karl for the burst damage, and to do that, you want his abilities. So I think that was a mistake, honestly. I think you really want those. You know, you want those massive bonuses, because the bonuses will extend to other people nearby. You know, big attack buffs for everyone. It really helps, you know, kill things that are basically glass cannons. You know, you want to get some hits in before they kill you, because they're going to kill you. So, yeah, I think it's a mistake not bring his, uh, bring his buffs, but... Still, he's very formidable. Also, a Shadow Wizard. Shadow Wizards are brilliant. Um, so, again, Penundral Pendulum. Same thing as, you know, what I'm thinking, right? You know, big line of of infantry. You can get some good work done. Also, Melkoth's great for the cavalry. So, he's got the same idea I do. So, speeding things up, you can see he's getting some shots into my Dryads. I actually stopped my Dryads. They were going to lead the Vanguard, but I don't want them getting shot at by crossbowmen. So, I stopped them in place. I'm going to pull these guys back so these guys pull forward. And I'm going to let all my shielded units start running in. So, uh, they are getting some damage into all my Dryads, though, which is kind of annoying, but that's fine. So, I'm getting some shots in with my Hagbane tips. And over here, I'm going to go straight in. So, you can see I'm getting a bit of damage. He's getting a bit of damage on me, but I've got Silver Shield, so I can charge in here pretty happily. Um, there's no Spears, so I don't have to worry too much about that. He's charging with the Empire Knights, but you can see these Wild Rides are completely slaughtering these ones. And now, I'm getting some beautiful AoE abilities. So, there's the Hounds of Orion, just tearing through those free company. And now, the Piercing Bolts are going to hit the next lot. 
mean, that's pretty juicy, huh? So that's two units pretty much wiped out by Orion. So Orion's in here now, dealing with the Empire Knights. Most of this infantry is starting to break. And get nice earth blood on top of these guys, and the War Dancers should help cut through the Flagellants. And here, Orion, with... Ooh, ooh, this doesn't look good. Run away! Run away! So that's half my unit War Dancers. Gone. Oof, well played. Over on this side, um, I'm basically just screening him a bit. Um, I'm, yeah, he's gone wide over this way, so I'm going to concentrate more on this side. He has to come to me here, slowing him down. Here, though, he does sneak his Empire Knights through the middle, which is definitely wise. But uh, I've got plenty of flak to get in here and do some work. Here, more Empire Knights are running away, and now my cavalry are going to start harassing the back line. You can see, without the buffs, Carl is not going to hit Orion all that well. Orion is going to have a much better time hitting Carl. And uh, here, yeah, I just got a load of infantry fighting. I've got my Sister Thorn still in here. Really, should have pulled them out by now, but uh, it's fine. They're still in there. To be honest, I was kind of thinking, oh, they're past half health. They don't have their spells anymore. May as well leave them in the fight. But that's actually a change that's happening with the Curse of the Vampire accounts. Um, sorry, Vampire Coast patch that'll be coming. Um, yeah, below 50% health, they're not going to be able to use their free spells. Um, that's the thing that we did see in the Everchosen, so uh, I was still in that mindset. So I thought, eh, I can't get any spells, they can stay there. Stupid. It's a bit stupid there. Anyway, another pretty good pendulum there. Did some good damage to my infantry. Here, though, I've got the Empire Knights surrounded, and my archers are pretty safe. They're back online. Uh, the Great Swords are doing some great work, but I've got through all the crossbowmen with my Wild Riders. These Wild Riders are going to run in here and go for the, those crossbowmen. And here you can see Carl Franz has actually been uh, been broken here. Unfortunately, uh, my branch rider is terrified. It's only terror. He'll come back. It's cool. But uh, just a ton of unbreakable units. My war dancers are chopping through hundreds of them. Look at that. 73 kills, and they lost half of their health to that penundial pendulum at the start. They are very good at chewing through things like flagellants very quickly. Here, though, unfortunately, my sister Thorn did get caught out by the Empire Knights. So very wise to get the charge off there. Free company are starting to come back. Another Earth Blood on top of all my guys. Orion definitely needs the health, but of course he does have the Cloak of Isha, so I don't have to worry too, too much. But uh, yeah, I wanted to keep the War Dancers and things fighting, and War Dancers are gone now, which is a pity. 80 kills, though. Pretty good to say they got half wiped out by a spell. And my um, Wild Riders are just tearing through all these guys, just yo-yoing from one to the other. And now these guys are going to run over this way to try and deal with the Free Company some more. Also, Awakening the Wood, like I said, against blobbed up units, it can do some good work. And you just saw it took maybe three quarters of what they had left and half of what they had left from one one spell cast. But here, Melkoth's gonna slow him down. Oh, nope, nope, it doesn't look like... Did they get hit by that? I mean, it looks like they got hit by it, but I'm not seeing anything, which is unusual. Huh, not sure that happened. Yeah, it's not turning the spells on. Whatever, it's fine. They got hit by Melkoth's, it hurts. Carl Franz jumping down to aid in that fight. Flagellant's coming in, unbreakable. You know, Carl Franz, yeah, I don't want him fighting here. Um, yeah, Wild Riders, they're pretty injured, so I want to keep using them. I want to keep cycle charging, so I'm going to run away. I'm not going to leave him in combat. Carl can't really do much anymore, um, honestly. I'm pretty happy. Here, Dryads are chasing the Empire Knights, and he's actually coming in with more Empire Knights over here. So I'm going to start getting some shots on them, and Orion is going to intercept which is definitely good for me. So um, here, he's going to change his mind. He's going to go for the Dryads. I'm going to pull the Dryads back to uh, go for these guys. Hit him with the Melkoths to slow him down. Which again, it's not saying on the info card, which is weird. Um, I guess it's just a bug with this replay for some reason. Anyway, uh, these are in a lot of trouble. With uh, Orion running in here, things aren't going to look so great. The Dryads, I'm happy for them just to sit here. And I think these guys may have... Yep, they've both got the magic uh, resistance debuff because they're in range of the Branch Wraith. So the Dryads are actually getting better value there. Also, I'm going to start hitting these guys with spells. Uh, so there's uh, the Hounds of Orion. I don't really care if my own guys get killed, but I want to kill the Unbreakable units, frankly. So uh, over here, the Great Swords did chase off the Dryads, as you'd expect. These Wild Riders shattered the crossbone. They're coming back to get a nice rear charge into these Great Swords while I bog them down with what I can. Here you can see the Grey Wizard has been trying to get in the way here. Uh, weirdly, I haven't really targeted him. There was always something more pressing than the Grey Wizard. Um, you know, with a couple of big spells like the Penundial Pendulums, I kind of figured he wouldn't have too much go in him anymore. So I just kind of left him to it while I polished off everything else. So here you can see Orion did deal with all the cavalry, which is very nice. Uh, over here, got some more cavalry coming back. They chased the other Empire Knights off, so they'll be running back in. And now army losses are starting to hit. You can see things are starting to shatter. But, uh, of course, they still have all these flagellants. So uh, now I'm just going to hit these flagellants with everything I have. Um, I don't care about my own lives. Um, here's an Awakening the Wood. That's going to hopefully kill a couple. Uh, yeah, killed, yeah, actually just a couple, which is kind of depressing. Hit them with the Melkoths as well. You know, whittle the health down some more. I mean, they've got no health here. Here we can see piercing bolts. That's right, I'm using everything, because why not, right? <laughs> why not? So hit them with everything, and then I get an earth blood. Apparently I had a quite a lot of winds of magic at the end of this uh, at the end of this battle. Oh yeah, I'm gonna hit with an earth blood. Here we go. And everyone's charging in. Lovely. 
And, uh, yeah, they can just shoot those great swords. Um, yep, only five left. But they ran away, and great swords is kind of their ethos that they're always, you know, they never run from a fight. But of course they do. They're not actually unbreakable. They're still human. That's just more of a boast, but, uh, you know, than fact, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, it serves them right for running away. Coward. So, yep, one more flagellant, and uh, he'll eventually die. Eventually. Anytime now. There he goes. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Come on, replay. You can end now. I want to see the end screen. There we go. So, Pyrrhic victory. I mean, fair enough. I lost a lot of guys there. Um, but, yeah, Wild Riders, guys. My word, they can get some work done. 187 and 126 kills. And when you think about it, sure, there's just a load of squishy things in the back line. But Free Company and Crossbowmen, these guys can get crazy good value against the Wood Elves. They can get a lot of damage in. There are a lot of unarmed units you can fire at that are very expensive. Uh, I mean, even Orion doesn't have a huge amount of armor. You can whittle him down pretty well with just these cheap things. Um, you know, the Wild Riders, they've got the Silver Shields, but if you can get shots into the back of them or get them wrapped up in cavalry, you can do a ton of damage with a good couple of volleys into the back of them. Um, you know, there's a lot of valuable units. You know, war dancers as well. I mean, they got killed by the spell, really. But uh, still, 80 kills at half health. You know, think how many flagellants they would have killed if they weren't hit by a spell like that. Um, and you can just murder them with crossbowmen. So these guys got a ton of value. And you've got to remember, they each wiped out a unit of Empire Knights before they went and got rid of everything in the back. So it's pretty rough. Uh, Wild Riders, just superb. If you can keep them safe, if you keep them moving, they can get a lot of work done. Also, Orion, thanks to you know, the Free Company blobbing up like that, going with those dense formations, which often actually is very useful. If you've got those dense formations, they get charged. But if they're on guard mode... They keep shooting, so stuff in the back will keep shooting the things that the ones in front are attacking. You know, it's really useful like that, especially with cavalry charges. You know, if the cavalry can't get through the whole unit, and a lot of them will get shot by the guys at the back of the unit. Um, so it's kind of handy, but when there's so many AoE spells up for offer, you know, for Orion and the Branch Wraith, you've really got to spread those guys out and try and keep them safe, you know, behind rows of flagellants or something. So it makes it very tough. These were easy, easy pickings for me, thanks to that formation. But, you know, you just got to kind of read the room a bit um, sometimes, you know. Sometimes, very useful to have a blobbed like that. Others, no, you really don't want to do that. And this is one of those times where he made the wrong call. But, uh, yeah, interesting nonetheless. So, guys, I mean, that's about it, right? I think that's about it. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.